welcome to the first episode of Rectum Games. Where today we're going wrist deep into The Legend of Zelda. Dude, I haven't played this game in forever. Yeah, I, I, I actually think the first time... Oh like, no! What is that? We need to get rid of it. <laughs> we're not gonna be Lick Ball. Lick Ball and... Rectum. You know what? Fuck it, we'll be Lick Ball. Alright, we'll be Lick Ball. I haven't done anything either. Alright, this is the super duper adventure of Lick Ball. Wow, you really haven't done anything. Not a single thing. Did you, what, did you just start the game up and then you were just like, okay. I started the game, got to the first dungeon, and then died and gave up. <laughs> oh, I remember watching you play this online, and I was like, why did you go to the first dungeon without your sword? Yep. The level of intelligence here. Oh, man. <coughs> well, but the first time, the first time I'd ever played this was, I actually never, I never had it on like a system, on a, an actual TV system. Um... I had it on the... You remember when they did the NES remakes for Game Boy Advance? Yes. That's what I had this on when I first played it on. Oh. Well, oh, I man. definitely played it back when it was on a system. First game I ever played, ever, was the first Mario game with Duck Hunt. And then this. This yeah. is my second game I ever owned on the NES. I always thought that was interesting. We were, like, we, we were born the same year, a few months apart, but you started with NES and I started with Super Nintendo. It, my, it's because my, uh, my dad had one. When he was uh, not growing up, but like he had one with his with my grandparents, and then when I said I wanted to play video games, that's the first thing he did. We went out. I remember going to a pawn shop, and he bought a Nintendo, brought it home, and that was that was the end. Yeah. Um. With, yeah, with mine, it was um, from what I can remember. Um, the with the Super Nintendo was like crazy common in my family. Like at least I had. <laughs> There was a Super Nintendo... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I'm getting over being sick. Um, I had a Super Nintendo... Or, well, I didn't have it, it was my uncle's. Um, there was one at my grandparents' house. Um, and then my other uncle had a Super Nintendo. And then I believe, finally, my dad bought one for me and him. And, like, my first... One of my first two games were Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country. I'm surprised I never had a Super Nintendo. Like, I had a regular Nintendo. And my brother bought a Sega Genesis, and those were mainly that was that was all I had until in the until I got an N64. And the only reason I got an N64 was because of Zelda, because this was my dad's favorite game that we played. And then he found out there was Ocarina of Time. And he's like, "Oh, there's a new Zelda game out. Oh, we gotta get that." And that's the only reason why I got an N64 to begin with, because of Zelda. So you completely you completely skipped over like ma mainly all of, like Super Nintendo. All of Super Nintendo. The only time I ever played a Super Nintendo was. Uh, my parents had this friend's house they used to go to when I was really young, and they had kids, and they had a Super Nintendo, so sometimes I played it when I went there. It's really interesting. <clears throat> but they had weird games. Like, <clears throat> not even... I don't even think they were real. I think they made them themselves. I, a, lot of the, a lot of the Super Nintendo games were super, super strange. Yeah, there was definitely not. It wasn't like anything Mario. It wasn't anything mainstream. It was. It was some weird shit. Well, I had. I had a game for it. Um, because I think. I think at the time. Uh, can't you push that block to open that? Yeah, it just tells me about some stupid secret that I don't care about. Oh. Oh yeah. Was it? Wasn't it like the uppermost peninsula is the secret or some weird shit? <laughs> yeah, like which is where I'm going anyways. <clears throat> can't remember all the weird stuff in this game. Yeah, they're really cryptic with all this shit. I was like five years old. I was like, what's that mean? Yeah, this was a difficult game for, like, anybody to play back in the day, because there was no, like, strategy guys or anything like that. It was like, okay, I hope you have fun playing, try to go this out, talk to your friends, I have social. I have one memory of beating this game, <coughs> and it definitely wasn't me being a kid. Yeah, no, but when I did mine, I think I, I think I had it when I was 14, 14, 14, um, I had it, and I played it, and I think I had a guide for it. I don't remember, but I think I used a guide. I think it was the guide that you had for um, the that Zelda collection for GameCube. Oh boy! I think I borrowed that and used that, and then I put it down for a while because I got lost in Ganon's castle. And it turns out you needed something outside of the <coughs> castle to be in the castle to get through it. For this game? Yeah. Yeah, you need like I think you I think you needed a skeleton key or something because there's. Or no, just... wasn't it was it a lion's key? I don't remember now. Cause it's I, been I so long since I played this game. I remember it was some, something to do with keys because there's just hundreds, I mean not hundreds, but there's a lot of locked doors in that, and I don't think they give you enough keys to get through it, so you have to physically buy keys from oh, outside. Oh, I forgot you had to do that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think I think the line. You know, I'm gonna look it up. I'm curious. Um, I think I 
serious now. I think because I swear to God, there's something. It's, called it's, it's key. either it's a special kind of key or uh, it's like yes. just buying extra keys. Items. Hidden items. No, I just want items. <clears throat> Oh my god, there's so many items. You know what's weird? The, like, weirdly specific items didn't show back up in later Zelda games. Like, I don't think the blue candle came back. <coughs> yeah, I don't think any of the candles <coughs> really came Oh! No, I think, the, I think the candles came back in the form of the, uh, the lantern and the lamp. Mm. For, like, um, A Link to the Past, I think. Um, okay. Open it up. Blue ring, bomb. Oh, you came with all of the artwork. The Book of Magic. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, the magic rods too? Wait, were there magic rods in this one? Uh... I don't think so. <clears throat> like, those first came in during, like, the, uh, Game Boy Advance games. No, no, because I know the, uh, I know the fire rod and the ice rod were, um, I like to pass. <coughs> like, those came in. Oh no, yeah, look, right there. The magical rod. Die. No, you're fine. See, so you're fine. You're still fine. I'm great. Yeah. Perfect. Do I know? Uh, the magical route. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> See, oh, I, this, yeah. this is the part. I can, I can fucking get to, uh, dungeon number one, blindfolded. Mm -hmm. But after that... Yeah, it's finding everything else. It's just like... I'm uh, fucking lost uh, now. Uh, magical ring. Yeah, oh, it's called the magical key, but it looks like a lion. Oh, okay. That's in this game? Yeah, uh, this baby means you have unlimited access to all the locked doors, which means there's You get no, that in no Temple mobile 7? Unfortunately, you get this rather late in the game in Dungeon 8. Dungeon 8, yeah, but so you need to get that special key. I think that was, I think that was the problem. Oh god, I remember that. You walk around and it goes do 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 Oh yeah, that's why you gotta do this. And not die. You have bombs. Oh, I just oh. wanted to touch the heart! <laughs> Was there a heart in front of you? Yeah. Peace. We forgot to end the episode, so this is how we're ending it. Stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah, we're we're gonna start, and it's not gonna seem like we paid attention because we did.